Today you're going to see something spectacular. Me. Today is also the last lesson of our Investing in Germany course. But nothing to be sad about. So far the videos have generated hundreds of views which I'm very very happy about. So thank you for every single one of you who tuned in, liked, commented, reached out to us. I truly truly appreciate it. And I will definitely keep going next week. Let me know what you are interested in when it comes to real estate, investing and insurance. And I'll make separate videos about it. Some people already commented with great video ideas. So let's rather be happy that it is finally over and you're just a couple of minutes away from being a true investing expert. You mastered all the asset classes, you mastered taxes, you mastered tips and fails. So today there's only one thing left to master. Your mind. And when you conquer your mind and are in control of your emotions, you will see your investment results improve dramatically. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video from Perfinex, the number one financial planner for expats living in Germany. We upload easy to understand tips on investments, insurance, real estate and pensions every single week. So if you want to secure your financial future here in Germany, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and secure your 30 minute session with us by scanning this QR code. We're here to help. Last week we were talking about investing fails that hopefully nobody tapped into until now. And I also asked you this quiz question. In case you missed it, pause one second and think about it. Because the not so obvious answer is C. It depends. Did you think B because a 5% return is higher than a 3% return? Well, this is looking at the world of investing too simple. And if investing would be that simple and obvious, you wouldn't watch this video right now and more people would be successful at it. But they aren't and today we're gonna see why. Because what is the price you have to pay in order to get return? Do you remember? It's risk. So how much risk do you have to tolerate in order to get the 3 or 5%? If it's the same amount of risk, 5% is obviously the better investment option. But if it's 10% risk, for a 3% return and 50% risk for a 5% return, which is more realistic right now, it is your freedom to choose which is the better investment option for you. So to sum up the last quiz question of this course, don't simplify investing too much. And don't forget that investment return comes from risk. So find your personal risk tolerance. If you need help with that, Watch lesson 5 again. Watch all the lessons while you're at it. Last week I told you that when you make emotional investment decisions, you're most likely doomed. And it's true. Unfortunately, we are our own worst enemy when investing. Why? Psychologically speaking, we have two fundamental motivations that we can apply to investing as well. Let's say you're having a good side and a bad side of your brain both making investment decisions for you. Like the good old angel and devil on your shoulder. First is fear. Fear of making mistakes or fear of losing money. This would be the good side because it actually wants to protect you. And second is greed. Trying to get rich quickly and ignoring all rationale. Risk doesn't matter anymore and for the return you're hoping to get you are willing to do anything. These two emotions are very tough problems when investing. Some people can control them pretty well, some people can't control them. And unless you can control your emotions, you're probably not gonna do very well in investing. I happen to have a certain clarity that allows me to form a judgment without emotions taking control. But I can sing or do backflips. There's some things you can do and some things you can't do. 
And the absolute worst that I see very, very often with clients who invest with us or people who want to invest with us, they rationalize their emotional behavior. Their brain is trying to resolve the conflict and they are justifying their emotions. And when that happens to you, you will start managing your money in a way that feels good rather than managing your money in a way that is good for you. That's real bad. This is why you need the right mindset when investing. So let's talk about these two emotions more in detail. Because if you can understand them, you can master them. You can imagine any market like a sinus wave, mixed of fear and greed. The stock market, the real estate market, the bond market, whatever. When markets rise, the investment porn industry is writing headlines like new records every day and if you're not investing now, you'll miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Remember the investing fails from last week? Listening to experts, trying to time the market and buying what's hot is all mixed in a rising market phase. Your friends are also talking about it now and over time, more and more of them will start investing. And soon, you will be the only loser who's not invested and has no say. So the devil is speaking to you. Get in now. For weeks and months the market has been breaking new records and you're missing out on a massive return. Just blindly follow the herd, even though you don't really understand what you would be investing in. What could go wrong? Greed is good. No sooner said than done, you're beating investment fail number 7, procrastinating, and finally start investing. And of course, you're checking your investments now every minute. If it's stocks, ETFs, bitcoins or gold, you're looking at the price. If it's real estate, you're checking the news all the time. And when the markets continue to rise, you're seeing that it really works. You're actually making a profit. Positive feedback. Feels awesome, right? And the more profit you're making, the louder your devil gets. And you're starting to think that past performance is a predictor for future results. You're excited and expect the markets to go higher and higher. You're chasing performance. In fact, all you're seeing is performance, performance, performance. And that will push you to ignore the ratio between risk and reward. Look, I know it's tempting to jump into whatever investment happened to have an outstanding return. But the devil on your shoulder will make decisions that are not appropriate for your financial life. And soon after, whatever market you have invested in will start to top and go down. I don't know when markets will top, in 6 months, 1 year, 5 years, and I don't know how much it will go down after. I'm not a magician after all, and whoever pretends to know is lying. But I know that any market is going to tip eventually and it will punish you for being greedy. How do I know? Because markets behave not just rationally, but also emotionally, and they will continue to do so. So the market tanks, and soon you will be below your entry level. All that nice performance you were so happy about is gone. You're seeing the news headlines that are terrible. Bad times for investors now. Sell while you can. Markets are gonna collapse. The world as we know it is over. And you're panicking and think, what did I get into here? Angel on my shoulder, please help me. And the angel says, Get out now. You have been making losses for so long now. At least protect whatever's left before it is all gone. You worked so hard for your money. That's just how we humans are wired. The brain's job is to protect us. But a decision made from fear in the world of investing is almost always the wrong decision. But you're following the lead of your angel and sell all your investments at the worst possible moment, thinking, oh boy, this is some bullshit. I don't know how other people do it, but I guess I'm just not made for investing. I really learned my lesson and I'm never gonna touch investments again. I just leave my money on a bank account now, at least there it won't get any less. 
After nine investing lessons, does that behavior make sense? And what does make sense? The exact opposite, buying low and selling high. So just remember to stay rational and buy the fear and sell the greed, not the other way around. So where's this fear and this stress coming from anyway? Let's imagine you are flying back to your home country to visit your family. You get to the airport here in Germany, wherever you live, and take off. You do that despite the fact that you know your plane might crash. I mean, there's people dying in plane crashes every year. Like there's people dying in cars, or just crossing the street, or just staying home. You're still boarding the plane like every one of us does without making a will before or kissing your friends goodbye in case you'll never see them again. Because a regular commercial flight is not particularly a life-threatening journey, right? Now, instead of a regular commercial flight, let's imagine you fly the plane yourself. I'm guessing most of you never flew a passenger plane before? Neither have I. Let's face it. We are uneducated about flying airplanes and we don't know what we're doing. So before starting this huge Airbus or Boeing, you might want to write a will and kiss your friends goodbye because the chance of you dying without knowing how to fly an airliner is pretty high if you would even know how to start it. But what's the difference in these two scenarios? It's the same journey, it's the same plane, everything is the same. The only difference, and that's the one creating the fear, is knowing that you do not have the skills or the knowledge to fly an airplane. Only a pilot does. He has the skills and the knowledge to get you safely from A to B. Investing is the exact same thing. If you don't know anything about it, it's a fearful thing to do. It's not necessarily about life and death, like flying. But if you're not saving and the government won't give you any money in retirement, you're gonna have a serious problem. And that's entirely possible 10, 20, 30 years from now. Germany has a broke social security system which loses more and more money year over year. We are here to help you on this life and death journey. Perfinex is your plane to get you safely to whatever financial future you want to go for investments, real estate, funds, whatever it is. Feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. Just scan this QR code for a free 30 minute session with us and we're gonna do the best we can to fly your plane. And now let's pop some bottles because if you made it until here, you definitely deserve a toast. So congrats to everyone who completed this investing course together with Amanda, Steve and me. We are all true investing experts now. Except Steve. He still wants to invest based on the way he feels and that's why he will never make progress. So one last time, be like Amanda, not like Steve. Let's face it, most people will never get the financial education you got in this course. So everything that's left is for you to start investing. So one last quiz question. When is the perfect time to start investing? Is it A. Now, B. Now, or C. Right now? Remember, time is the most valuable resource of all. It's the one thing you can't buy and never buy back. So start as soon as possible. I wish you all a lot of success.